The Story of King Amaziah The life of King Amaziah is covered in the Bible in the Book of Two Chronicles, specifically in Chapter 25. Amaziah was a righteous king in the ancient land of Judah. He ascended to the throne at the tender age of 25, following the death of his father, King Joash. Amaziah was determined to rule his kingdom with justice and honor, faithfully following the teachings of the Lord. He set out to restore the city of Jerusalem and fortify its walls. He knew that a secure city would safeguard his people and allow prosperity to flourish. With the guidance of his advisors, Amaziah embarked on an ambitious plan to establish a powerful army, determined to defend his land against any threat. One day, word reached Amaziah of a neighboring kingdom known as Edom, whose ruler had been oppressing the people of Judah. The young king felt a strong desire to bring justice to his people, and he assembled a mighty army of 300,000 soldiers to march against the Edomites. However, Amaziah realized that his force was not sufficient to guarantee victory against the formidable Edomites. With some hesitation, the young king sought the assistance of an even mightier kingdom, Israel, led by King Jehoash. Diplomatic negotiations were concluded, and together they formed an alliance against Edom. King Jehoash advised Amaziah to think twice before engaging in battle, warning him not to let his success go to his head or fuel his desire for conquest. But Amaziah was filled with youthful pride and chose to ignore this wise counsel, thus, setting himself up for a great challenge. The battle ensued, and the armies clashed with a thunderous roar. Initially, it appeared as though Judah's forces were prevailing against the mighty Edomites, but soon the tables turned, and Judah's army began to crumble before their foes. Amaziah, realizing his grave error, turned to the god of his forefathers and cried out for help. He pleaded for divine intervention, acknowledging his own arrogance and disregarding the advice of King Jehoash. The Lord answered Amaziah's plea and sent a strong message to the young king through a prophet. The prophet revealed that God had seen Amaziah's unwavering faith and would, indeed, come to his aid. Furthermore, he admonished Amaziah for seeking the assistance of Israel instead of relying solely on the Lord's guidance. With renewed faith, Amaziah rallied his remaining troops and led them back into battle. This time, they fought not only with their physical strength but with the belief that the Lord was with them. The forces of Judah displayed great courage and unrivaled determination, successfully defeating the fierce Edomites. King Amaziah of Judah died in a political conspiracy. After a successful military campaign against the Edomites, Amaziah returned to Jerusalem but brought back idols of the gods of the defeated Edomites. He then bowed down and worshipped these idols, angering the Lord. As a result, a prophet named Oda denounced his actions and warned of the consequences. Amaziah ignored the prophet's warning and challenged the king of Israel, King Jehoash, to a battle against the advice of his advisors. However, Jehoash warned him not to provoke trouble as their conflict would only bring disaster. Ignoring this warning as well, Amaziah led his army into battle against Jehoash but was defeated. After the defeat, Amaziah fled to the city of Lachish, but he was eventually captured and brought back to Jerusalem. There, a conspiracy formed against him and he was assassinated by his own people. This conspiracy was likely fueled by his unpopular decisions, including the worship of idols and the defeat against Israel. The life of King Amaziah provides several lessons in the Bible. Trusting in human strength. Amaziah's downfall began when he relied on his own military power and trusted in hired troops rather than fully relying on God. This emphasizes the importance of seeking God's guidance and depending on him rather than human strength or resources. Pride and Arrogance Amaziah's pride led him to challenge and provoke the king of Israel, resulting in a devastating defeat. This reminds us to be humble and not exalt ourselves, recognizing that all our achievements come from God. Disobedience to God's commands Amaziah did not follow God's command to not take foreign gods and worship them. This points to the importance of obeying God's commands and not compromising our faith or principles. Consequences of Unfaithfulness Amaziah's unfaithfulness to God resulted in his downfall and ultimate assassination. This serves as a reminder that there are consequences for straying from God's will and not walking in faithfulness. God's Sovereignty Despite Amaziah's failures, God remains sovereign and in control. God allowed Amaziah's downfall and used it to fulfill his purposes. This teaches us that we should trust in God's sovereignty and submit to his plans, even when we face challenges or failures.